Hi guys, welcome back. This is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design. And today I'm going to show you how I make this 3D feathers uh, fit on a curved tumbler. This is a 16 ounce wine tumbler. So I have this piece of card stock here on my mat and I'm going to put my vinyl directly on that card stock. I'm going to stick it directly to that card stock. You could make these feathers just using vinyl, however I wanted the thickness of the cardstock to make the feathers look more 3D. So I'm just laying that um, the vinyl down evenly with my little squeegee here, and I'm going to cover the whole mat, the whole um, piece of cardstock card on my mat, sorry. <laughs> I can't talk today guys. So I went into Cricut Design Space and I just made an oval shape, um, an elongated oval shape um, using the shapes feature and duplicated that to make the shapes of my feathers that I wanted. And I'm going to cut that here with my Cricut. It's so satisfying peeling this back. <laughs> so these will be the shapes of my feathers. I'm actually going to cut these in half for each feather that I lay down, but I'll show you that here in just a minute. But let's just um, admire this beautiful holographic vinyl. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> I've been wanting to make one of these tumblers for a while, and I finally found the perfect tumbler to make it on. So after I scrape, scrape, scrape all those little feathers up, I'm going to take them downstairs to my craft room and we'll start. So I've already prepped my wine tumbler and I know it kind of jumped ahead here but I'm using double sided tape to lay my, my feathers down. I'm just going to cut those each in half. I put two, lit, two rows of double sided tape along that bottom and I'm just lining the, the oval tip up with the very bottom of the tumbler and placing them next to each other all the way around the tumbler. I'm not too worried if each piece is a different length. It's fine, it's all gonna be covered up. And this seems like a tedious process, but it actually is kind of fun. It's very similar to my mermaid tumblers that I've made in the past. I'll link those in the, at the end of the video for you. So here I'm showing you how I do the double sided tape. I'm going to go up about halfway on each feather and lay another row of double sided tape so that I can lay my next row of feathers. Since this is a curved tumbler, um, it is obviously going to have different lengths of double-sided tape and you'll use different amounts of the feathers going around, but just do the best you can to line them up. Um, for this second layer, I'm going to actually go in between each of the first layers that I did and a little bit higher up than I did the first row, if that makes sense. We're going to keep basically stacking these on each other and covering the whole tumbler.
laying the vinyl on your um, cardstock is a good way to um, have different colors available to you if you don't have those papers. Um, so you can use just a pretty cardstock that you find at the store and cut that into the feathers if you prefer. But I wanted to try this using this pretty holographic vinyl and I wanted the 3D look on the cardstock um, <laughs> because I didn't, I wasn't able to find any um, holographic cardstock at the store. So it's just a nice way. You can use patterned vinyl. That would be a neat uh, touch and um, give it a different look. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, you know, different patterns, different colors you can put on your feathered uh, tumbler. So you can kind of tell that I, uh, the layer of it, um, now that there's two layers down, I'm just going to keep following that all the way up to the very top of the tumbler, and I'm just going to let you watch this and watch my process. <laughs> So you can see the dimension that the cardstock um, gives this tumbler. I really like the look of the feathers. Um, and this holographic vinyl is so cool with the feathered look. It has enough bling for me. I love the bling of it. Now as I was doing this tumbler, I realized that this is probably going to take quite a bit of epoxy to get this tumbler nice and smooth. Um, the curve makes the cardstock kind of stick up around the curve at the bottom. So I'm going to show you how I'm trying to remedy that here in just a bit. It took me a little while to get all these feathers on here, but since I'm only doing a small tumbler, it really was, didn't take as long as you would think. Um, I just put on my favorite tunes and, uh, you know, keep at it. it. It was a fun process. It's coming along nicely. I was trying to debate on what I wanted to do at the top of the tumbler. With my mermaid scales tumblers that I've done, I just flip the scale the opposite direction and have a nice smooth edge. But with this one, I think I'm going to go completely up and over the top of the tumbler 
and then cut a nice edge for the rim. Um, and that way all the feathers are going the same direction and um, it just gives it a cleaner look. So here I am doing the very top. I'm leaving just a little bit of an overhang or a little bit of a rim I should say. I don't want that, the tape to go all the way to the very top but I am going to overlap the feathers to go over the top. Um, you'll see what I mean here in just a second. I was worried that the double-sided tape would just be too thick there at the edge, but if you, as you can see, I'm putting them right over the rim, the little feathers right over the rim, and they're sticking nicely. I'm going to trim those up here in just a minute. I just feel like it gave more of a finished look to this tumbler. I love the look of the holographic um, vinyl. It just it's all different colors, so pretty, depending on how you're angling it. So I'm going to smooth those over the ridge um, to make kind of like a... <clears throat> so I, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just going to fold those over the edge and to make a nice line so I know where I want to trim these pieces. So with the cardstock and the vinyl, these are fairly thick. I am using my razor tool here, a cup edging tool. Um, the feathers kept kind of pulling up though, so I'm just kind of scoring them with the razor tool. And I'm going to go back with a very my sharp X-Acto knife and trim those off. Be really careful doing this step. You don't want to slip and cut yourself. So make sure you have a good hold on that tumbler. And make sure your blade is really sharp. I'm going down below the rim of the tumbler just a little bit. So that way I have a nice ridge for the epoxy to grab hold and make a nice seal. And you can see there that there is a little bit of a gap at the edge of the rim. And that is perfect to make a seal with your epoxy. Now anytime you put fabric or construction paper, not construction paper guys, I keep saying construction paper, <laughs> cardstock or anything on your tumbler that, other than glitter, you need to seal it. So I'm going to seal this tumbler completely with Mod Podge. I have put my Mod Podge in my little squirt bottle, it makes it easier to apply, and this is my Mod Podge brush that I purchased on Amazon. I can leave them in the link below. Now the, the feathers are kind of pulling away from the tumbler a little bit at the bottom of the tumbler where the curve is. So I am dabbing my brush down up and under those feathers to get Mod Podge under there so that I can kind of squish them down. Um, if I were to epoxy straight over this, those um, feathers would be sticking up all over and this would be a nightmare to cover. So you just want to do thin layers because whenever you do cardstock it absorbs that Mod Podge and it kind of makes it curl. Um, and this does a little bit, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to squish down those feathers and get a fairly smooth adherence to the tumbler. I'm going to take a sheet of wax paper and I'm actually going to roll my tumbler in it and rub smooth those edges at the bottom especially. Now the Mod Podge is still wet and I don't want the Mod Podge to 
um, you know, seal or glue that wax paper to my tumbler. So I'm going to peel it off while it's still wet and you can see it did smush down those feathers a little bit. But I'm going to keep doing that until they're almost completely dry. This is going to take a few coats of Mod Podge and a few different um, rolls up in my um, <laughs> in my wax paper. I just want to get it as smooth as I possibly can. So that first layer is dry and it looks pretty good, but there are still some that is sticking up. So I'm going to go ahead and do my next layer, and I'm really focusing on that bottom portion and dabbing that. Mod Podge down into the into the bottoms of the feathers. I believe I put about three or four coats of Mod Podge completely on this tumbler to really give it a good seal before I go in epoxy. Then once you're happy with your seal after your fourth coat of epoxy you let your Mod Podge dry completely before you ever put it on your turner to start applying your epoxy. And you can see how I'm dabbing it to get underneath so that those feathers will lay down flatter and flatter for, with each layer of, of Mod Podge. Don't give up, guys. It'll lay down flat. You just got to keep at it. This is a different piece of um, wax paper. I'm using a clean one for each layer. And just remember to peel that off before the Mod Podge is completely dry because you don't want it to adhere to your tumbler. So it's been completely dry and this is the epoxy layer one. I did do a layer of epoxy and then I went ahead and sprinkled some holographic fine glitter at the top rim of the tumbler and at the bottom to cover that white bottom. I totally lost the footage to that and I apologize. So I lay put two, three layers of epoxy total. Um, there was a day in between each layer to dry completely. And now I laid my decal down. I cut that little owl face with my Cricut Design Space. Um, I didn't record myself cutting it out or putting it on the tumbler. You guys have seen me put a million decals on tumblers. There wasn't anything special about this one. I actually laid it on the flatter part of the tumbler, so it didn't really need, have any issues with going over a curve. So this is me putting a layer of epoxy right over that um, decal. And I believe I put two more layer, um, two total more layers on this tumbler. Um, over that decal to make make the tumbler really smooth and um, no bumps, bubbles, or anything. It turns out really smooth. And you can see a difference that the epoxy makes um, that vinyl almost like became more vibrant once the epoxy was put on. Um, that vinyl was like a matte holographic, and I really loved the matte holographic look. But the epoxy made it a really, really shiny <laughs> um, holographic, and I was fine with it. it. It looked really pretty, so I just left it, and there you go. But just know that sometimes when you put your epoxy on your vinyl, it may change the look of your vinyl. So this is going to cure for 24 hours. I'm going to sand it and do my next layer, and it'll be all ready. It's hard to get a good look at those um, 3D feathers from this angle, but you'll see better here in just a minute. There she is. 
I love the sparkle and shine of that holographic um, vinyl. It is so pretty. And this is just a fun tumbler to try. And I love owls, so I really wanted to try a feather look. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you learned something new. It's a little twist on the 3D um, type tumblers that are so popular, a little different than a mermaid. I love mermaids, but I wanted to make my cute little owl. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing to see more of my videos. Give me a thumbs up and you can leave a comment or a question below and I will get back with you. Happy crafting, everybody.